All right, so I'm just gonna show you here how you don't need a, uh, a devoted ice fishing fish finder to uh, to use a uh, fish finder while you're ice fishing. Right here, just have a uh, Hummingbird 197C, super, super basic unit. I use it for a lot of uh, backwoods fishing in my, uh, my little tinny. And uh, all I have is the, uh, the suction cup transducer that you'd use on the back of a boat. I just have it rigged up in there, just so it's sitting relatively level. And uh, as you can see, I mean, I'm getting great, uh, a great view of my jig there. And sometimes you have to play with it a little bit to get it set up properly. It doesn't auto level like a floating uh, ice fishing transducer does. But it uh, works really well for me. Um, it'd be cool if I could get a fish to, to come up and check it out, but uh, there's been many times I've I've seen the fish come right up, nail my jig, and no surprises at all with the hit and the hook set and all that stuff. So, you know, and you get your depth and all that. You know, it's obviously not as uh, powerful as a flasher, but uh, it really gets the job done way better than nothing. I think this is about a $180 unit. See, there's a mark right now. There's a mark right now. This is working out perfectly. Mark right now. He's coming up looking at it. Looking at it. It's definitely just fish right on my jig. I don't know if he wants to give it a try, but he's there, that's for sure. That big green mark, that's a fish. It's coming up, he's right on my jig again. I don't know if he wants it. It's going back down there. Really wish I could get a strike. Oh, I may have felt something. But it's, that was a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool example to show you guys. I mean, I guess he wasn't interested. I may have to uh, reel in see if I still have any bait there. Because normally when they come and take a look at it for that long, I get a strike. But uh, anyway, great example. Hopefully this helps some of you guys out and uh, saves you a little bit of money. Thanks for watching.